Hey Don, back here one more time. <clears throat> I'm not going to stream this <clears throat> because I know I would <clears throat> lose my connection. And um, I guess I don't have enough. Uh, without the stream, I don't have a way to tell. Everything looks okay. I don't have a way to tell if I'm. Uh, I am on the desktop. Okay. I don't have a way to tell. <clears throat> That's how I always tell if my video is working. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is set my. Uh, I just realized a while ago. Okay. This is my. Um, I want to enable the reserve the IP address. I guess I have to copy it from there. <coughs> I have to put it in there. Now, okay, that's all I want. You can do what an odd combination parental controls and reserve an IP address. Okay, and I want that to always stay the same. After it will take effect after reconnecting. Okay, I had to hit save twice. Let's look at it again. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> now I'm going to do it for this my Lenovo i5. Make sure I get the right IP address. Okay. And when you copy and paste, make sure you don't have any extra spaces or anything. Oh, I see. It tells you that. And then and when you hit save the second time, it saves it. And I'm going ahead and do the BioStar. It's already seen it. And it wants to give it that one, so that's fine with me. It really, I used to always try to give them the IP. <laughs> <coughs> 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 the ones that wanted them to have <coughs> right in the rope. <coughs> Dang it. But uh, it's hard to do. And then I think I'll remember them, and I don't anyway, so... Okay, that's pretty cool. That did not require a reboot. It will, when it reboots again, then it will be in effect, it says. But at least it didn't automatically, you never know. When you hit save, it may reboot it, it may not. Now, dynamic DNS, I do not want this in here. Let's try disabling it and hit save. Yep, it's rebooting. Don't save that password. It always wants to save whatever password you had on this screen. Now, let's see if it cleared it. No, it didn't. But what I want is manual. And <coughs> let's see. Do I want to? No, I don't want to do that. I think my website's been working. Yeah, let's go to a different. Yeah, since I went back to where I was, and it's okay. So... <coughs> Let me go make sure my website's still working. Okay, that works. And that time it didn't hesitate like it did before. I think that might have been jacking things up. Okay, now that's more like it. Yeah, I think having that dynamic DNS setting in there was making it look for, uh, you know, that... <coughs> that server there to check things and uh, oops what I want is <clears throat> oops <sighs> trying to get there I didn't get to check that one okay yeah that works That's working. And that's working. Okay. <clears throat> now, that was fast, and that's how it should be. Okay. So, I'm tired, and I want to go to bed. <clears throat> so, then I will try to set up Dynamic DNS with my my free DNS.afraid.org. Uh, you know, Bishop code at US at 2 forward. URL forwarder is, <clears throat> I believe, what they call them. But uh, so that it, when my IP address changes, this one appeared still up in my deal. 
in my uh, search. I put it in my search window just so that I would have it in case I needed to change. See if I paste paste and go, then it just go right to it. But uh, <clears throat> I just, just something I do. I just put it in there and then don't hit enter. <clears throat> just like a clipboard or something, you know, a visual. I mean, one you can see. Anyway. <clears throat> Um, so yeah I'll go back and do my dynamic DNS see if I can figure out how to make it work um, so that it will automatically follow my IP address changes I think maybe I'll be able to do it there's a lot of options in there so uh, a lot of different ways at my service you know so I should be able to find one that'll work I think the reason I kind of think the reason it didn't work when I tried it before is because I didn't have the right IP address in it in there to start with. See, it just wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't connecting and wasn't uh, right, wasn't finding it. And this uh, dealing, you know, the router interface wasn't telling me the what was going on. You know, it's just all it was doing was just going back to it like this. It wasn't saving it. So. Uh, <coughs> Yeah, cool. Let's see. Yeah. See, you could actually add one. You could manually do one. Of course, without, it's so much easier to just add them after it's already been given its IP address by the. That's kind of odd. <coughs> so, like, three machines on here. And it's spreading it out. One, 117, 124, one, I think that's 192 there. That's this one here that I'm on. 192, 0 0.192. And uh, so that's kind of odd. But my server should be working. That, I'm really happy about that because it was such a pain to have to forward through to another router. And really... I would rather the router connected. The newest router I have with the prob should be the best security, at the one that's connected directly to the modem. I'd rather have it be the one my server's on uh, because if you're down deeper on the routers, you can actually get to all the other ones uh, between it and, uh, you know, the one next to the modem, connected to the modem. But if you're in the one... Uh, connected to the modem, then you can't go backwards because it's always expecting the threats to come from the WAN ports, you know, the internet ports. Uh, firewalls are. So I might even put my, uh, I might end up, yeah, instead of changing all my phones, I might end up doing that. I, I wanted to make, I need, well, see, I needed to get into the interface of the D Link, so I needed to be connected to it to make this video, these videos, but I could change my Lenovo i5 over back to the TP link they're both gigabit routers so I shouldn't have any trouble on the wired connections of anything slowing down or anything <clears throat> and uh, because my internet connection is only 60 megabits and you know so and gigabit is like about a thousand megabits so I could <clears throat> I could probably I could probably get on the uh, back on the TP link with a no Lenovo i5 and then all my settings in there for my phones and all that I wouldn't have to reset them uh, everything is all set up well you know all the reserved IP addresses and all that stuff it's all set up and uh, the only thing is whenever I want to do any changes in the D link I would have to get on some machine that's connected directly to the D link which could be my server I could do that it wouldn't be hard. It's always running. I'll just have to think about that. I'll have to try and remember that because maybe I don't want to change all my phones and do all that. Maybe I'll just leave them like they are and uh, log me out. And um, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm not even remembering to turn my head. I'm so tired. <clears throat> Away from the mic. Yeah. 
I think I'll just have to go through these interfaces and think about it all. The number first thing I want to try to do is set up that dynamic DNS, and then and then go from there. <coughs> but uh, yeah, that I'm really happy with. It was really aggravating ever since I bought that TP Link, and I couldn't get it, couldn't get my server to work on it. I had finally decided there was something strange about the uh, <coughs> network card. But it, it, it might have been some weird bug. I, I, like I said, I read that it was a very common problem with that router after I got it, you know. <sighs> and once I ran into the problem. Um, probably was a bug in the firmware and the operating system. Uh, it let you set it up. It had all the provisions. It made sense. It wasn't even complicated. Unless it was one. See, I, I don't think I was missing anything, though. I... Uh, probably set up I probably didn't net well port forwarding is good to go ahead and set up that way anything that tries to hit port 80 was going to be sent to the server that's kind of can be a security uh, quasi security measure because if something comes from the WAN port from the wide area network from the internet to uh, and looking for port 80 it's going to that server <coughs> uh, it's not going to be able to go anywhere else so that's a good thing and then setting up the virtual servers. I think it wouldn't have worked without the virtual server set up. I can't remember. I didn't have it uh, working on the internet yet, you know, when I did all this. <sighs> I didn't try that. HTTPS. I might actually want that turned off. I can try it on my... Well, I can try it on here first, I guess. <sighs> try that see what happens don't think I've got anything that's going to answer <clears throat> but I thought I would rather it go there than uh, to any other machine so even if it doesn't answer <clears throat> and uh, I got to thinking later I didn't mention it because I can't show it <coughs> But my <clears throat> laptop, just since it's <clears throat> on uh, other routers, I can't even remember which ones it's on, but it's not <clears throat> on this router. Um, well, the wireless is... oh. Oh, it's not on Wi-Fi at all right now. It doesn't look like. It says Wi-Fi connection one, and it says connect. So I guess it's only going through the wired, which I think I actually I forgot what I kept moving things around trying to <coughs> trying to get things the best way I wanted them. <coughs> anyway, it's not on the D-Link. It's on either the TP-Link or the uh, TrendNet router. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to type on the wrong one. But it'll go, it did, yeah, it'll go to my, uh, it's actually not coming in as quick as it did a while ago on this one. It's kind of doing that again, uh, just loading the top part of the page and it's sitting there. <clears throat> well, I'm not quite sure why I'm having that happen. I've seen it happen <clears throat> on and off over the years on any any of my servers but usually I guess there was times when I thought I fixed it and then there was times when it just quit doing that <laughs> it might really and truly be like I said it may be the the uh, usually, a lot of times you can just make it force it to reload and it'll come right in stop it and then reload it and see what happens I'm just not doing it <coughs> so um, I didn't realize it wasn't coming in up here on this one either oh I did the HTTPS that could be jacking things up I don't know <coughs> it could have uh, that 
I don't know. I wouldn't think it would actually slow down my server or anything, but. but yeah, it's not coming in. Not coming in completely again. It's just hanging. <laughs> Let's see what it's doing over here from this machine. Okay, that came in good. And it could be that <clears throat> it's in cache in my web browser too. <clears throat> Why it's coming in so good. But see, one time it'll come in, the next time it won't when I just got through having it come in. So you wouldn't think it'd be a cache thing. Try a different, try one of the links that are showing up on there or something. It just doesn't want to fully load. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I can't even, I'm so tired I don't care. <clears throat> it is, seems to be working. I don't know how dependable it's going to be, but it does seem to be working. And... Uh, I can't talk anymore. I'm coughing like crazy. So I'm shutting down that laptop so that I will not fool with it anymore. And I'm going to shut down this desktop here in a minute too. As soon as I stop my video. Okay. So there we go. So I'm running uh, <coughs> the D-Link and the TP-Link and the TrendNet. But the TrendNet's a wireless too, but it's horrible. It doesn't work worth the crap. So I, I turn off the radio in it. <coughs> <coughs> It was weak, weakest one I've ever had, <clears throat> and you had to reboot it every three hours to even keep it working at all with the wire, wireless part. The wired is okay. Uh, it run for mo a couple of months. I've been I've had my server on it, and as long as I didn't, back when I wasn't having to reboot the TP-Link, I didn't uh, have to keep rebooting the TrendNet for the, just for the wired connection. Uh, so... Oh, sorry. I just clicked on that because that's what I do when I'm done. So uh, at least it was silent and you could still hear me. Okay, so let's play the music and go out. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.